What's up, my Gator Gang? Welcome back to the channel. Do you see what I got going on over here? We got a lot to talk about. So I did some more shopping. All right. Originally, I was just gonna shop the Soul Lift, the new launch. But then because it was such a dud and like I couldn't get anything, I shopped all the newer releases that nobody mentioned or talked about. Okay. Got a lot of new stuff coming your way. A massive haul right now. Every single thing you see today is a brand new release. We got some training, we got some adventure, the soul lift, whatever I could get. We'll get into that later. <laughs> and some Horizon beach stuff, okay? We got, we got some chit chatting to do. So you guys, if you're addicted to Gymshark as much as I am, then definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Also follow your girl on the gram daily content there on all things fitness because together we got this oh girl i think i think this might be one of my biggest hauls yet real quick i just want to let you guys know in case you are new i am a size small that's my true to size size and everything i have here today is in a size small i'll have all my measurements linked below as well as every single item in here will be linked down below as well and this video is pretty much just a first impressions I just got everything in yesterday, so this is just gonna be my overall like brief overview of what I'm thinking about the items, but I will absolutely have in-depth reviews on some of these collections you see today, so definitely stay tuned for that because I love doing my in-depths, baby. I get real up close and personal about everything. I think we're gonna start with that soul lift. Why not, all right? I think this is why a lot of y'all are here. You wanna hear about the soul lift? Couple things. Did not get most of what I wanted. I didn't even get one pair of shorts, y'all. It was in and out of the cart like a hot cake. I got, I, I tried to make up for it and get like one of every legging. Those were in stock plenty, but the really hot colors, like the coral, the yellow, were just like, they flew out. Did I even get any yellow? I got one yellow thing. Oh my God. So I had a lot of my gals DMing me on Instagram. I made a whole story about it. They DM me saying they had similar experiences. So definitely comment down below if you had this experience. In-depth review coming on this full collection because I have a lot to say. So briefly overviewing, I got the blue leggings straight up off the bat. They were um, kind of tight when I put them on. I heard a lot of like snapping action going on like in the seams <laughs> but i will say i really do love that freaking scrunch my peach has peach problems it doesn't really hug material so if there's a scrunch your girl's on top of it which is why i really want to get my hands on this freaking collection so i got one in blue i got one in the freaking pink love how they're side pockets i really do love that ribbed band but it feels like the band is like almost like a jogger band you know what I'm saying? It's not thin, seamless. It's like a jogger, like I'm putting on sweatpants and then the rest of it, it's pretty soft on the outside. Also got that gray color, blue, man. I don't even know what color. It looks like a bluish gray. So I got one of each legging. Couldn't choose which one I wanted. Cause when there's a scrunch, I just gotta get a bunch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The thing I'm loving are these freaking colors though. I could live for these absolutely for the summertime. So definitely give me a few days to really try and test these babies out to give you a full in-depth review. Cause as of right now, they felt pretty squat proof, but like I could see a tagger too, like through it. So give me a little bit, come at you with a review. Okay, so I got a few of their boxy crop tops. They look real super cute. That looseness, they feel like a jersey. They're silky soft, really thin laser cut. When I saw the looseness of these babies, cause your girl, she needs that ultra comfort. I'm all about showing out, you know, here and there, but the loose for the summer, ooh, it's ultra breathable. So I had to get a couple. Kinda wish I got a yellow, not gonna lie. I think these would actually pair perfectly with like the new camo colors. You got like that gray camo. You also got that like aqua blue color. So I might, I might wear these over camo sets. Okay, <laughs> don't laugh, but your girl got that shrug. Wow, are these shrugs getting smaller or is it just me? Like, oh my God. Um, so it's super comfortable what, what's there. The material that is there is very comfortable, super soft inside. This was a really cute type of design because even though it's mostly baby pink, 
You have those other colors, like the grays, the darker grays and stuff, like marled throughout, you know? It's got that like nice little marl design. The Be A Visionary is what I notice about the Soul Lift. It doesn't say Gymshark in big letters. You do have the Shark Face logo here and there, but it's mostly just Be A Visionary written on things. So definitely, definitely different. You know what I'm saying? They're bringing that, that, that motto back. I kind of see this being something I wouldn't really wear. I just don't find it very, very practical. I mean, yeah, maybe if you're warming up at the gym, but then like your, your, your toddies are still hanging out. But either way, it's still, it's still very cute, okay? You can still do a thing or two with it. Also got their super loose baggy hoodie from this collection. This is like being hugged. This is like, this is ultra comfort at its best. It's the same exact design as the Shrug. This is a freaking small, like I said before, and look how freaking huge it is. <laughs> It's very long. If I let it go all the way, like as long as it could, I could literally wear it as a dress. That's how huge it is. It does have a nice hood. They've been working on it a little bit. Their old slouch, the hoods literally choked me out. They were very, very heavy hooded. These are lighter. They're getting, you know, they're getting those light hood vibes that we all like. So again, super unbelievably soft and cozy inside. It's not a super thick hoodie, but it's not very light. This is something that could be versatile, I think, in all seasons. <sighs> it's hot. These lights, you guys, I wanted to wear this training cropped sweater, but it's too hot, all right? Sorry, I gotta take it off. Woo, am I good? <laughs> Sweat bullets, okay. Maybe it's just Gymshark getting me hot and heavy. I don't know. Last item in the Soul Lift haul, I did get their long like tank top. Same exact thing as the crops, except tank version. It goes from high to low, which is neat. I kind of like that. You got some major drop sleeve here, which is nice. Throw it over, sweat it out a bit. You're good. I noticed on this collection, their thing are these little like air holes. Breathable. I don't know how it could get more breathable than this. These little freaking holes, the way they are designed, they look like the little paper, those little loose leaf paper stickers that you would put around the holes so that, you know, your loose leaf didn't rip any more than it has. I don't know about you, but I use them all the time. You got a nice strip of mesh in the back as well. So dang, this is a breathable tank. This yellow is like a beautiful golden yellow. Again, you have that be a visionary in the front, but it's subtle. It's like the same color as the actual tank. So it's a subtle, but like still there. Very cool, unique collection overall. So overall, this collection's full of really adorable, some of my favorite colors like in the world when it comes to active wear. But if I'm being honest, it's a soul collection for a reason. It's the shit out of luck collection because your girl literally got zero shorts and I couldn't even get my hands on any sports bras. I actually placed the order, went back, realized that my sports bras got completely taken out. No shorts, couldn't get them. So you guys, we have some new release training tops. I have to say, out of that whole collection, their tops, their options, are probably my favorite thing. Love the leggings too, they're hit or miss for me, but the tops, man, oh God, forget about it. I got the long sleeve top in that beautiful, beautiful, like fresh teal color, I believe it's called. Very breathable, lightweight, it's perfect. I throw it over a freaking outfit and I'm good to go. You got a mesh backing on the upper like third of the back. So again, like the most lightweight piece you'll ever feel. It's very, very thin, but very stretchy. It is durable. Their training tops are where it's at for me. This is not a skin tight piece though. It is a little bit baggy on me, uh, slightly, not nothing crazy. You have thumb holes and the sleeves aren't like this skin tight look like the Vital Seamless, for example. So this is more of like a, a looser, more carefree fit. I love this collection because you can mix and match. So I grab a bunch of training tops, throw them over different sets like the Camo, the Vital, and you're good to go, man. This is like the collection for that when you need your accessory type of you know tops to mix and match with. I also couldn't help but notice they came out with a training zip up. Ooh, this taupe. Believe it or not, this is a little bit big. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to my zip ups, I don't want them really baggy, man. You know what I mean? Because I'm only wearing an active wear set underneath. This is just going straight to the gym. Although, I might wear these with a pair of jeans in the fall with some boots. Just saying. The zip up is dope. The, this is such, 
you can really feel the durability in this zip up. This is not a cheap zip up. No thumb holes, very simple, a lot of contoured seams, inside pockets and outside zipped pockets. So this is a very nice throw over. This is why I got a neutral color. So it can go with pretty much anything I own. No hood, just a basic zip up. Whereas the other training had, like you saw with the sweater I just wore before I took it off, they had just the more minimal Gymshark written out. The newer training has just like the shark face. So dope, I'll take it, mixing it up a little bit, okay. Holy crumb, this hurts my eyeballs looking at it. So if your eyeballs are hurting, my bad. Look at this hot pink highlighter like boxy crop from the training collection. Wow. So had to get that loosey goosey fit, you know, throw it over when I don't like the restrictions. Some days I don't want to be skin tight. This baby is a whole mesh backing, drop sleeve, light as a feather. Again, just the shark face in the center. This is great to just like throw over. I would wear this with my black, my grays, any like neutral color because this is such a vibrant standalone piece, OMG. Ultra comfort for those of you who like that more boxier, uh, sporty type of looser fit, definitely check these babies out. And not to mention, in case you don't know, the training is actually one of their more affordable collections. We all know Gymshark could call, you know, pretty much cost an arm and a leg sometimes. So definitely check it out. I think it really is like the most bang for your buck in a sense. All right, so I also got and they say this is in the color gray, I beg to differ. I see more of a, kind of a, just more tan than anything. That's, and even Bay said, this looks more tan than gray. But this is their vest, their training vest. This one is more form fitting than the boxy crop you just saw. You have still a little bit of that mesh backing up top, the drop sleeve, everything is pretty much the same. The material feels slightly different. This feels a little more stiffer in a way where the other one felt a little more silky. So yeah, I mean, you got the logo on the bottom left of the vest. I uh, like it, racer back. It's just a tan color. It'll go with anything. I feel like I'll be using this one more than anything. Okay, the last training top I got was the very loose tank. This is something that I'm not really gonna wear to the gym necessarily, but more or less, going out into the public, hanging out with family. Got that loose action all over. You got this big gaper in the back, man. Look at that big gaping hole. It's like you're wearing nothing. Really, it feels like you're wearing nothing. Uh, this is a beautiful red color. I don't know, it's just that pop of red that I want for the summertime. Very long, okay? So it's very conservative in that way. I like that. If I'm hanging out with family, I don't want nothing hanging out, okay? It, you know, that makes me feel uncomfortable. If you're looking for just a very casual, inexpensive, loose, yet still very wicking, okay? Still got wicking capabilities in case you sweat up a storm, girl. Then definitely check it out, okay? Loose tank, pretty nice, silky. All right, we're moving on to some serious beach vibes. Are you ready? Got the Horizon Reversible set. These are sold separately. <laughs> yeah, I gotta buy one each. So check this printout that we got going on. There's a lot of teal, a lot of blue, pops are red. At first when I saw it online, I was like, wow, that's super cute. I got it. And now I'm like questioning like the print. I don't know if, to me, it kind of looks like something you would see under a microscope, but that's just me. Like I'm starting to think like, what, what am I looking at? <laughs> the bikini bottoms are so stinking cute. They're very, very cheeky. They're not adjustable at all but they fit so nicely. They're very, very comfortable. These, the bikini top though, I will say it's not the most flattering. I haven't had the best experiences with Gymshark's bikini tops in terms of being flattering. Other than that, they're okay. They're like low support, nothing crazy, no crazy band. It's not adjustable. So this one, eh, for me. And another thing I'm not totally vibing with is the fact that there's no like bra inserts here. So that's what makes me look extra flat chested in this. It is reversible, like I said, girlfriend. So if you're going to a trip with your friends for a couple days, you only got to pack the one bikini, you got just the plain blue. So depending on the feeling of the day, do you want to feel frisky? Do you want a pattern? Do you want solid? I'm trying to just be low key. It's up to you. You do have the Gymshark logo printed on both sides, the inside and the outside. So it's all fair play game, all right? You're not lacking on one or the other. 
It just depends on what you're feeling for the day. Check this out. I got the freaking Horizon Mesh swimsuit in the color Hyper Mint. <laughs> if you wanna look like a stick of that spearmint gum, then you might wanna check this out. I love the color, had to get it for the color. Green, like this? Make my tan pop? Yeah, girl, absolutely. Look at that mesh lining you got. Oh yeah, there is like bra inserts inside here that you can take out. It is like a racer back, but mesh. And you have like that really nice strip where it says Gymshark. It's very stretchy. This strip down here, stretch. Overall, this, this fits nice. It's a bit more conservative in the back, whereas the other one was super cheeky. So if you need more of a conservative swimsuit, this one's definitely it. I will say though, um, another kind of slight issue I've had with their bikini, especially like up top, if you have a lot of side boob, like if you are naturally a side booby girl, like me, like I don't have a ton of cleavage, but I got a lot of this going on and I don't really know why. This swimsuit, like especially if you're laying down, I might kind of like show a little bit of that side boob. Not totally a bad thing. If you want that side boob look, go for it. Me personally, I feel like I gotta watch out for it. To, I might just slip right out, you know? So uh, yeah, that's the only issue. Other than that, it fits perfectly. It's stretchy, very comfortable. Doesn't dig in from what I felt. Again, this is a first impression, but overall, you know, not too bad. Okay guys, so Horizon also has a train sports bra. Guess if you go to the beach, you wanna train outdoors. I see a lot of that on IG, but yet you wanna still go for a dip in the ocean to you know, cool off. This is where it's at. I had to get it, man. Look at that color. You got like that, that printed Gymshark text on the front, but it's like just a couple shades off from the blue. So it's there, but it's not there. This baby is all adjustable strapping. This is very secure. That bathing suit top that you just saw that I wasn't too keen on, this is what's gonna be replacing it because it actually matches pretty perfectly. Yeah, it's the same exact blue. So if you want something a little more secure, something you could bounce in waves with, lift your arms up, do whatever, some push-ups even, then definitely get this one. All right, this one's where it's at. This one actually has bra pads that you can take in and out. So whereas the other one didn't, this one came in clutch. All right, guys, lastly, for the Horizon collection, woo, got the train leggings and their crop top long sleeve. Yo, so Gymshark's seriously taking it to a whole different level with this one because it is training gear meant for being outdoors and or in like water. This texture, this material is something completely different than what they have on anything else. This is like the kind of material where if you went to the ocean and then you stepped out, you're gonna dry like that. Such a cute yet bad ass outfit. Are you kidding me? Looking like a freaking ninja in this one. You got the like the high waist leggings. Actually so freaking, I wish they would come out with these in like normal leggings because the mesh all around the legs is so sexy. They have like a double padding on the bum so you can squat it out and do some crazy stuff on the beach or wherever you're at and you're good. Very comfortable overall. It's, it's definitely not something I would wear to the gym because the, again, that material is very like almost plasticky almost feels like static or something like that. So not necessarily something I'd wanna wear in the gym. Uh, and the long sleeve, are you kidding me? You got the same uh, characteristics as the leggings is the perfect matching set here. Big Gymshark logo printed across, again, in like the same type of color. I love this. The mesh goes all the way down your arms. Oh my gosh. Nice size crop. This is something you could probably wear surfing <laughs> if you want to be conservative when surfing and not have anything hang out so definitely if you want to be outdoors or on the beach and get very very active this is totally the set you want all right guys last collection in this massive haul yeah we're talking venture so i didn't know what the frig venture was when i ordered a bunch of stuff until i got it in and i was like what the heck am i looking at exactly <laughs> Uh, this is a very unique collection in the sense where if you're somebody who likes to be outdoors hiking, that kind of thing, nitty gritty, that kind of thing, or everyday kind of use in the elements, venture, if you're feeling adventurous. So I got the Venture Sports Bra in this orange. This collection has a lot of darker colors, more, more simple and dark, not my total favorites, but they do the job, all right? They're just meant to get shiz done. This orange is like a Halloween orange, not, again, something I would just like 
really, really just want to have a part of my wardrobe. <laughs> But the bra feels pretty secure. You have a double mesh on here, adjustable strapping, a, a pocket in the back. It is like a low support type of uh, sports bra, but yet it still feels nice and secure. A complete mesh lining inside, very wicking. You got the bra inserts. So overall, it's, it's a nice sports bra, but it's not like something that wows me to death. You know what I mean? Then I got the Venture leggings in their like dark blue color. It's a, actually called Teal Lagoon. Again, in the elements, you obviously want darker things if you're going outside into nature. Um, the leggings themselves, they're, they're comfortable, but I can't really vibe with the backing here. It's just not my speed. Other people might really love it. You have a lot of seamed contour, and I feel like the contour is just a little bit awkward. There's no real actual band on this, and I think that's why I'm not totally vibing with these leggings. Other than that, they are squat proof. They're functional in a sense. You do have the pockets, which are nice mesh pockets. Uh, the Gymshark logo is a dark gray, like near the knees on the side. You have laser cut uh, bottoms here on the ankles. So it's a smooth, you know, ankle bottom, but I don't really, I, I mean, I'm not really gonna put use to these leggings, not gonna lie. I don't really find the back flattering at all, especially on me. My body shape, this isn't very complimentary to my body. But if you're somebody who wants to try more of these like geometric seamed kind of leggings, things like that uh, stand out from the traditional Gymshark, then maybe give these a go. Um, but for me, I'm like, eh. All right, guys, we have a Venture Pullover, the same color, that Teal Lagoon. You have a snood neck. Didn't know the term till I looked it up, but like right up here, you know what I mean? Keeps your neck nice and warm. This collection has a lot of draw cords, just so you know, right around the neck. You have it right here, which is so, in my opinion, awkward, because I tried to use it and it looks just, I don't even, it just looked freaking weird on, on me. <laughs> You have zippered like invisible pockets up here, which are pretty cool. This is not like a pocket down here, like your normal hoodie. It's just for the draw cord. So not really a total, total hit for me, I would say. The material itself is a little weird. It's not a cozy hoodie or anything like that. It's not super soft. It's more like, there to weather the elements a little bit, something that is good for like wind, I would say, or, or like damp weather. This would also be good for people who commute, like say you take the subway or things like that. Uh, it has a durability behind it that you could totally feel. So this is for the person on the go. This isn't for a person who just wants to slouch around and watch Netflix. This is like, yo, I'm out and about, I'm getting shiz done and uh, you know, I need a durable type of thing to you know, wear. Okay guys, I have a matching set here. The Venture Joggers and the Venture Jacket. Ooh! This feels like a straight snow pants and snow jacket. They, from the front, these joggers actually look like dress pants. Uh, they have the draw cord as well. It's a very like, there's so many pockets, a functioning type of pant. You even have a Velcro on the bottom that you can kind of make it a little bit tighter around the ankle if you'd like that look. Or you could take it, you know, maybe loosen it up and make it look more like boot cut, you know? You do have some seamed contour, kind of similar to the leggings on the back, not as drastic. The joggers are pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie, like, they do have that plasticky feel. Like I said, they, they are something that you're gonna wix like snow in. You know what I mean? That kind of like vibe. This is the kind of pant where if you're, you know, you got, you're in a taxi and you spill some coffee on you, you're good, man. I like these as like just a standalone with a sports bra. I think it gives a really nice sporty look. This is something um, that I would wear out and about, you know, if I just want to be really comfy, casual, but it's not not something, again, to lounge in at all. This is just kind of, I got stuff to do, so I'm gonna go out and do it, but I still want to be sporty, comfortable, and have things that aren't totally, like, tight on me. Sometimes I just want a looser fit, so that this is where this would come. These are definitely unique joggers, like I've never seen. This jacket, though, is a windbreaker on steroids. This baby was, like, $70, and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it is, it's cool, but, like, <sighs> If, if I'm being honest, I don't think it's $70 cool. You do have a nice hood. It's functional. You got pockets, uh, lots of pockets actually. This is like hidden zipped pockets. It's cropped in the front to a length that's a little bit just too in between for me. It's not cropped enough, but it's not long enough. It's that awkward crop on me. But 
other than that it could look really cute you know with like a pair of jeans or something like that wearing it together with the matching joggers i look like i'm about to go build a snowman seriously so you have like mesh breakups you have a lot going on on this jacket these draw cords with these pockets um they're not very functional to me when you do draw cord it when you tie when you get the draw cord really nice and tight it just bunches up and looks very awkward on this jacket I believe I read somewhere that you can fold this baby up into a ball into itself and use the draw cord so it's like a little little ball you could take with you and just like unleash your jacket when you need it but I haven't figured out how to do that and it's very complicated so I didn't feel like trying to do it. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have the Venture long sleeve. This baby is like, it's just a very loose high neck kind of light sweater I would say. You have what's really unique is your elbows show in this, so that's different. You have these very giant hem slits on the sides. I could do without, because it kind of, I don't know, for me this, this kind of looks a little bit awkward, not gonna lie. It goes from high to low, and it just kind of hangs awkwardly on me. It zips on the back here because it is a little bit tough to get over your head, so you might have to really unzip this baby. But I do love the high neck look. I think it's really pretty. You know, it's a very sophisticated look. This is something you could wear. It's like business casual almost. Am I wrong? This whole collection, it definitely serves a purpose. I wish they had a little more vibrant colors, but I definitely understand why they went with more of the darker tones because this is just kind of like an out and about. You don't want to kind of care so much about what you're wearing in the sense like the elements, man. You don't know what's going to happen. I know when I wear my light, light pair camo, Something always gets on it. So this is the collection where you can be a little more relaxed, I believe. Last but not least, I got the Venture Crop Tank in the same exact orange, it's called Powder Orange. Same one as the sports bra that you saw. This reminds me of the Breeze Lightweight, that kind of thing, but not as lightweight and feathery. It's a little more thicker, kind of feel like more cottony. Still has that drawstring cord, and here's where the freaking Halloween vibes really come out, because the drawstring's black. So you got black and orange. Do you like Halloween? Because I love Halloween. I mean, I would wear this on Halloween. I mean, really, I would. But it's July, so um, I got quite a few months to wait, but nevertheless, you got this square neck. That's, that's something you don't see every day. I like the square neck. It's unique in its own. You have the upside down triangle mesh. So this is a very like geometrical kind of style you see what i mean like the leggings were geometrical like i see you gymshark i see you man this is a very industrial kind of look you know what i mean you got a big mama in the back this breathableness you gotta be a big one of these like what do they call these i don't even know gymshark logo in the back that is a nice black Woo! so if you want to feel like a pumpkin for a day <laughs> i'm just kidding no, it's really cute <laughs> So, Bay just told me that he sees this as like white on the back here. So it's very reflective. So maybe that's for people who are out, you know, you don't want to get hit by a car. Maybe it like reflects like that. Maybe Gymshark had that intention. But other than that, you do have like the drop sleeves. So it's a very like comfortable, breathable crop to throw over. So not too shabby. All right, guys. Woo! That was my massive haul. <laughs> All new Gymshark releases. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm exhausted. Oh my god, these hauls exhaust me so much. So as you can see, we got some hits and misses, uh, but stay tuned again for in-depth reviews. I'm talking price, durability, squat proof. Give these a few days to kind of like feel them around, test them out, squat around in them, and then I'll get back to you. So definitely do hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness, because together we got this. And I'll see you very soon in my next video.